Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of data analytics, specifically as it relates to accounting. Now, when we use the phrase data analytics, the first word in there is data. And we're, when we're talking about accounting data specifically, what we're referring to is the information a company collects about its economic transactions. So who is it doing business with? What is it selling? What is the price that it's selling? What discounts is it offering? So forth and so on. Okay, so any information about particular economic transactions. That's your accounting data. Now, when you take that data and you analyze it, that's what's called data analytics, okay? And the reason we do this is because we're trying to learn something. We're trying to draw an inference about the economics of the company. Now, usually we do this um, using some sort of software, right? You're not necessarily going to analyze all of this by hand, especially when you have thousands and thousands and thousands of transactions to process. Um, and typically, data analytics involves some sort of statistical analysis. Again, one of those things that software can help do for you, even if you're not trained in those sp uh, statistics. Now, there's four general types of data analytics that you see listed here. I'm going to describe each type, and I'm going to give you kind of an accounting-related example of uh, what you might be doing uh, as far as accounting data analytics is concerned. So the first type I'm going to talk about is um, descriptive. Descriptive is simply a way of, of analyzing what happened, okay? Now, of course, this is the kind of the most basic analytic that all companies are going to want to do is what happened? Uh, what happened to our profit? What happened to our sales? Uh, what happened to our expenses, right? What happened? And so um, I guess to walk you through these four things, I'll, I'll pick on Apple. Apple's a company that most people are familiar with, at least familiar with the, with the brand, with the products. Um, and so one thing that Apple may ask itself, uh, say in late summer every year, is what happened to sales of the newest iPhone? Okay, that's something Apple could ask. Now, they could ask a ton of things. I'm just giving this as one example. And so they would collect their sales data and their pricing data and their customer data and their return data, and they would put all of that together to determine what happened to sales of the newest iPhone in this particular period of the year. Okay, so that's what happened. Now, the next thing is diagnostic. Diagnostic um, analysis is basically a way of saying, why did it happen? So let's say that Apple does the analysis I just mentioned. They look at recent iPhone sales uh, in late summer, and they see that iPhone sales uh, slumped. All right, why did they slump? Well, one thing Apple may look at is, well, what happens at this time of the year every year? And they might see that, well, every year iPhone sales slump. And maybe they realize, well, that's because in fall, they're going to release a new phone. And so you get close enough to the release of the new phone, people stop buying the old phone. Maybe that's why it happened. Or maybe they see that uh, sales of the most expensive iPhone slumped, but maybe sales of the lower end models went up. And maybe they've noticed that their customers are buying fewer products or their customers have worse credit, or their customers have lower income. And combined with the economic knowledge of, well, maybe we're in a time of inflation, maybe then Apple says, well, why did it happen is people aren't spending as much because of economic conditions, right? Why did it happen? There could be any number of reasons, but the data will help flesh that out. All right, next up, predictive. So predictive analytics, basically, as the name would imply, say, um, what is going to happen. Now again, going off of the example that we're going with, if Apple determines that the iPhone sales slump in late summer is simply because people are not buying because they know a new phone is coming out in the fall, then the, the predictive nature of what would happen based on the data they have for the current year, based on the data they have for prior years would be, guess what? Those sales are gonna rebound as you get into the fall, right? That would be the prediction. Or let's say Apple determined that the slump was due to, say, inflationary pressures. Well, then they would use that data. They would use those data analytics to basically say, okay, uh, how long is this inflationary period expected to last? Um, what's the elasticity of our prices relative to our customer incomes? Um, do we think we should ride it out, right? Or, or um, do we think that, oh, the inflation is going to turn around and therefore everything else is going to turn around with it, right? Trying to predict the future based on the, the, the diagnostics that you've already done 
Um, that's what predictive uh, analytics basically is. All right, and then you've got prescriptive, all right? Once you know what happened, you know why it happened, you know what's going to happen, or at least what you think is going to happen, you have to decide what do we do about it? And so in some situations, the answer to what do we do about it could just be nothing. For example, if the sales slump of iPhones in late summer is simply because people are waiting to buy them until the fall, maybe the answer is, well, we don't do anything. We just wait and let people buy them in the fall because that's what happens year after year after year. Maybe the answer is, well, you know, our historical records and our competitors' actions kind of show that if we were to knock 100 bucks off of the price, maybe you could get some of those hesitant purchasers in the door to buy it. Or maybe if, if, if your um, diagnostic analytics said, hey, inflation is a problem, people are spending less. Well, now you got to look at, well, can we make it a more attractive offer? Can we do a bundle? Could we discount the price, et cetera, et cetera. The prescription is going to follow naturally from the diagnosis and from the prediction of what happens from there. And basically companies are gonna use all of these analytics in conjunction with one another to, to make the smartest business decision that they can, the most profitable profitable business decision that they can. All right, well, there you have it. That was your kind of overview of data analytics, especially as it relates to accounting. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you join me for another video.